What's up you guys? Let's talk about the number one thing that makes women lose interest. So I've been doing this for a while. Uh, my name is Lloyd, I'm a dating coach. I run this channel. Um, I run a variety of different programs that help guys out. And what I've seen consistently is that when a guy has something going on with a girl that he likes, maybe they're texting a lot at first, they go on a nice date, it feels like it goes well, but slowly but surely, she starts responding less and less. Slowly but surely, more and more difficult to get her out on that second date or that third date or whatever it is. And then eventually you don't hear from her, okay? She goes to you, she lost interest, what happened there? Why at the beginning was she so interested in you and then later on she's not? Well, if this is happening to you consistently, like you have to look at what the common denominator is behind all of this. And it's that if it's happening to you consistently, clearly the common denominator is you. So. What can you do to help fix this? Well, this is something that used to happen in my life a lot, and it happens with a lot of my clients that I help, and this is something that is very solvable, but it usually comes down to one thing, or maybe there's some other things, but the main thing is neediness. Being needy drives women away, I don't know of anything that drives women away faster than neediness, okay? They do not want a guy who needs them. They do not want to date down, okay? They want to date at their level or above. If you're needy, you're basically showing that. What I find guys who are needy, what they start doing is they start, um, maybe on the date they'll be incongruent and not realize it. Uh, maybe they'll be trying really hard to impress her. Uh, they'll become overly sensitive. They'll be like thinking about their text messages a lot. They'll be uh, stressing about the date. They, they won't be able to properly have fun <laughs> while they're on it. They won't be able to properly enjoy it, which is like, you know, that's why you're on the date in the first place, to have fun with somebody. Um, and they become overly critical of themselves. They think too much. Uh, overly, overly uh, insecure, those kinds of things, they just, they're not confident. If you're experiencing neediness, those things are gonna come through. And what I've found is that when a guy is like, he's looking at an interaction and he like really needs this to happen, really needs this to work to feel good about himself, it almost never does, okay? So what is the difference between a guy who is needy and a guy who's, who's not needy? A lot of it's those things. So the way to get out of it is to become more reliant on yourself. So I'm gonna show you two examples. I'm gonna show you a client who, when we first started, was a very needy guy. He's improving, he's getting better over time. And I'll show you an example of a date that happened with me uh, over the weekend, which basically should show you how a non-needy person would act in that scenario and why it ended up working out. So let's talk about my client, for instance. Let's just, let's call him Matt, okay? So Matt, was uh, going on dates with women, or he would eventually or sometimes meet women that he likes. Sometimes they would, he would scare him off at the beginning uh, because he was being needy. But sometimes he would get a woman that was actually interested in him, and then they would go on a date. And every single time through the date, he was always wondering, what's the right thing to do? How do I make this work? And he was very sensitive to what she was doing or whether she wasn't texting him back fast enough. And so every single time when the date ended, they would almost always never text him back. And it was because Every single time he was like, I can prove myself, this has gotta happen. And when she would maybe not sit close enough to him, or maybe she wouldn't look at him correctly, or maybe she wouldn't text him back fast enough after the date had ended, he would start panicking and he would start messing it up. He would send her to either too many text messages or he would send her something that was miscalibrated or weird or just completely ignore the situation and then something, and then send something that just sounded kind of like, yeah, weird. In this scenario, his neediness is driving women away. So let's talk about my version. And in this version, if Matt had been on this date, he probably would have freaked out and ruined it. But I'll show you how I handled it. On this date, um, I go to this uh, Mexican uh, restaurant. It's actually quite a popular Mexican restaurant um, here in Austin. And we go, she shows up at around like eight. We order some tacos and the music is really loud and she's like complaining about it nonstop. She's not having a good time, I can tell. And so I'm like, hey, sorry about the music. Um, let's just eat our tacos really fast and you know, we'll find some places you know, a little better. So we eat our tacos really quickly and then we go someplace else. We talk for a little bit on the way and we go to this other bar. Now this other bar is usually like kind of a loungy area and the music's not too loud usually, but for some reason they had a DJ there. I guess it was Saturday or something like that. And the music's really loud and she is not happy again. She's complaining, she really doesn't like it. She says she can't hear herself think. And then eventually she decides, she says, hey, look, listen, at 10.30, I'm gonna go meet up with my roommate. And now, if you've heard your date complain at two of the places that she's taken, that you've taken her to, and then afterwards she's going to meet up with her friend at 10.30 p.m. on a Saturday, you probably think that date's a bust. You probably think you messed up. You probably think that things are going really poorly, okay? Now, admittedly, they weren't going the best, but because I'm a non-needy person, 
I don't respond that way. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, let's finish our drinks and then we'll go down. So we walk down and then I'm walking, I'm talking with her and then I turn and I look at her and I'm like, hey, well, you know, while we're here, I'm, I'm enjoying talking to you. Look, listen, if you really got to meet up with your friend, I totally understand, but I, you know, I'd love to spend more time with you. Like, I think you're really cool. And, uh, uh, but yeah, if you got to go, no big deal. And she's like, she thinks about it. She's looking at me and she goes, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go hang out with my roommate. And I'm like, all right, no worries. Well, let me walk you to your car. So I walk her to her car. We're talking. We're kind of, kind of like joking with her for a little bit. And then as, she's a, as we get to her car, I look at her. She looks back at me and I'm like, all right, we'll have fun with your friend. And then I turn and I walk away. All right. Didn't beg her to stay. Didn't try. Well, oh, don't hang out with your friend. Um, didn't freak out. Kept my cool. Smiled. Let her go. Now, was I annoyed that she left? Yeah, I was a little annoyed. But at the end of the day, I'm relying on me, myself. I'm still a pretty badass dude, even if she decides to like leave a date after you know two of the places are allowed. All right, I still got a pretty cool life. I still got things going on with me. I didn't need her to like me. And look, at the end of the day, if she decides to ditch me for that, she probably wasn't a good date to begin with. But you know what happened after that? At around 1 a.m., she texts me, hey, are you up? Or hey, are you still awake? She did the same thing. Well, I wasn't awake. She did the same thing the next night. I also wasn't awake, <laughs> okay? So now we're texting and we're probably gonna meet up uh, sometime this week, okay? Not being needy in that scenario, not freaking out, not needing the date to work was the reason why she came back, all right? Now, if you had been in, like, if a needy person or if my client Matt had been in that scenario, he probably would have freaked out and he probably would have ruined it, okay? But by me showing non neediness, showing coolness, showing reliance in myself, that's what was the difference. So try and figure out ways that you can make yourself happy. Even if you come home from a bad date, if you can still find a reason to smile, that's what's gonna make you a not needy person, okay? And I help clients uh, construct this kind of life in their everyday lives. And that's something that I'm working on with Matt right now. So if you want more information about that, I recommend you sign up for the mailing list, uh, get access to one of my free trainings. I don't really have that many spots in my private one-on-one -on -one coaching, but uh, if you wanna look at that, that's also an option as well for you too. Uh, thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.